Well, well, hello everybody. Welcome to my shed. My name's Ian. You all know that by now. What am I going to show you? Well, I was just going to crack on and get some scrapping done. It's uh, well, you know when you start filming it for YouTube, it just takes too long. But uh, I'll give you a little show of what I'm up. Well, first of all, it's brilliant because we can actually see the floor now. Uh, you know, want to do something about that. I finished all the plugs, or oh, all the brass has been cleaned. The, the wire from out of all the plugs is there. And that's some plugs as well. Uh, this is the gift. Right, so what I decided to do is to, so to take my curtain down. That, 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 that's purely up to stop all the sparks covering everything over there and I realized I just had just too many projects here you know I've got I've got the little egg I've got that I'm not, I'm not shown uh, I've got that motor to do uh, that was stuck behind there for example I found this and I thought oh what? What's in here? Oh, there's a mirror. Always using handy when I'm some plugs. And I caught the sight of a bit of copper. And when I pulled everything out, the thing's full of uh, scrap copper. So win win. I didn't know that was there or I forgot about it. So a little Brucey bonus. So like I say. I'm, I'm going to have to tattle these projects, just get them done and out of the way. And one of the biggest things here was this uh, was this beer pump. So I'm going to take this to bits. I've already started. Just, uh, it's completely rotten. So, quick bash with the hammer. Fell off. Uh, I weren't filming it. I'm just going to crack on and get it done. Hey, uh, what we've got in there is focus socket head allen keys that gave me the opportunity to dig my new set out and of course what happened well these they have uh they're nice because they have a ball end on so you, you could put it in and you can lean over and swivel. So I found the one the right size, stuck that in, twisted it, and it and it, and it snapped my ball off. So at that point, I thought, well, stuff you eat. And got the angle grinder out, and I just cut through it. I'm going to crack on, let you see what's uh, inside it. Take it, bits, beer pump. Okay, so I've cut through that one. I just need to finish cutting through this one. So there's no sparks from that. So that tells me that was uh, stainless steel anyway. So well, all right. So we've got some pipes. Hey, we got some copper. Just let me take some snips. Oh, I'll tell you about my snips. Bought these yesterday in uh, in Aldi. They're called Mechanics Nippers. Two pounds forty nine. They're rather sharp. Very long handle, so you can get a lot of uh, uh, leverage in them. For example, yeah, like that, that's a peak, that's no problem, see it? Clip, clip, done. Right. Let's let the dog see the rabbit, what have we got? Ooh, big chunky piece of brass. Let's check this. Yeah, sticky stuff off. Was 
go. That's way in after that. What have we got here? So we got some form insulation. So I pretty much guess that that was in there. The beer goes up. You see what we've got here. We've got two beers. We've got. Get these nozzles off. We've got Stella Artois and Bex Via, which stands for four, I guess, because Guido one dealt. All handmade. Told me about that. Uh, I am going to try to save these because I think I know of a man somewhere that is uh, collecting brewer memorabilia type of thing. He knows who he is. You all know who he is. So, how did this work? So you've got your gold, your beer going in and in. It's pressurised, so as you pull that lever, the gas forces the beer out and through the nozzles into your pint pot. What's this then? I know what this is. Have you ever been to... That's, that, that's refrigerant will be throwing, flowing through there. So that when you go to the, the, the pump, and you're going to see the back side of it. So you're seeing this back side, which has got that in it. That is going to chill this. So you'll have an alluring uh, f f I don't want to say frost but there'll be moisture all over here it'll be cold so condensation that's the word I'm looking for so that'll be full of condensation and you'll be going oh can I have a glass of that really cold beer please lager because if you drink beer, you don't drink beer cold. That that, that kills it. That just kill, that just cruiser Mac. Stop drinking your cold your beers cold. You're a peasant. There we go. I said, right. Yeah, look at that. Bush fit fittings. All right, so I've got a bit of copper and I got a bit of brass. Well, I've got a lot of brass. I need to carefully take them off. <clears throat> got to put these on, put them on tight. Alright. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Who could it be, I wonder? Who could it be? I think I've got these in mind for. I'll just put them on this little anvil. Well, I wasn't keeping it, was I? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So there we go again. Take the copper out. I'm just about to squash that up, and the the inner artistry in myself. This is more homesteading, or is it Monica? No, more homesteading. Saying to me, you know, it's inside you, Ian. You know, you've, everyone's got that little bit of artistry in them. And look at that. We think, well, it's just a bit of copper, but I think, ah, no, I can make that. Put some legs on it. And it could be like a give over, like a a lobster, maybe scorpion. Or do I weigh it in? Yeah, decisions, decisions. So that's now just going to leave the the pull handles. Unscrew. 
See a screw, take it out. Because and yep, stainless steel. Well, it just pulls up. That's chunky. That's very chunky. That just unscrews off. Oh, spring inside gives us a nice shroud. Stainless steel spring. This is that tool valve. So it's just simple operation. It's going to shove it down to seal it. Pull it up to release the beer. Right. Tidy this lot up. So there we go with the bench clean. Uh, I brought the scales in. Everything's been cleaned, stripped. Brass, brass, stainless steel, copper and the monster. I've already go at making some legs. I think I need to take some artistry lessons. And the decals. Let's see what it weighs. Well, almost, uh, almost six kilograms, six two point two, so six twelve. Thirteen pounds. A brass. Well, you know, I'm not exactly certain that that's going to be brass. I've taken a file. I mean, ain't seeing any brass colour. So the only real way I know how to do that is to take an angle grinder and to see if I get any sparks. If we get some dull red sparks, that's going to be stainless steel. Yeah. Oh, that was a shame. But it appears that those are stainless steel. So that means those will be stainless steel as well. What about those? Will those be stainless steel or brass? No brass. So there we go. We've got a big bug out of it. And we've got a little bit of brass, tiny little bit of stainless steel. Okay, folks, I'll see you around in another video. So see you later. Well, I couldn't leave it there. Look at that. Ralph Murick, one big lump of brass. Where did I get that? Show you. Well, I thought, well, while I'm doing my brass, I might as well tattle this thing. I picked this up. If you remember the video, uh, big load, small car. This was among it. Uh, it had a big piece of steel pipe coming off with a cut off. I weren't certain what it was. Uh, it weighs 15.6 pounds. Divide that by 2.2. 7 kilograms. But we're not quite sure what it is. It's to take a spinny thing and uh, give it some welly. <laughs> a good idea put the fan on you could probably see it's definitely uh definitely not iron i'm gonna get that iron out of there see what we've got
Okay, well that's that's definitely it. I'm going down. It's Saturday afternoon and it's uh, time to warm a tinny. So uh, again, take care. I'll see you tomorrow somewhere here or there.